Hi guys, it's Adi here with my Nokia blog, and this is going to be a video comparison of the software performance between the Lumia 920 and the Lumia 925. They're both running Windows Phone 8 with the same exact internals, but the Lumia 925 is running the latest update, which is GDR2, or General Distribution Release 2, along with the Nokia Lumia Amber update. So let's power them on and see the boot speeds. So they both vibrated at the same time, we'll just wait for them to come up. Now, um, in previous tests we've proven that uh, Windows Phone 8 does not really get affected by even half the amount of RAM on the 512 megabyte devices. So in the meantime we have the 925 which has 1.5 gigahertz, a dual core, 1 gigabyte RAM, so should have no trouble at all. And um, it's snappy performance just as you would expect from the top end Windows Phone 8 device with absolutely no problems. And a uh, quick boot speed. And as you can see, the 925 is about 3 or 4 seconds faster than the 920. That could be because the 920 doesn't have a SIM though, so no judgment. Let me just get the 920 up on the Wi-Fi network. So now that they're both running on the same Wi-Fi network, we'll start to test. We'll do some popular app comparisons to see you know, just how fast they both boot up and resume. And then we'll just uh, take a look at the Lumia Amber update on the 925. So let's start out with the Facebook app, which is Facebook beta actually. And um, 920 is partial portion of a second faster. They're both updated. No real issues. Um, let's check out the Twitter app. And as you can see, they both turn on instantly, even though it might take a while just to refresh the feed. Let's see how they resume. Instantly almost and multitasking, sorry. Let's try out the Skype app and then we'll check out the resuming through multitasking. So, our Skype. And as you can see, that also ran instantly. And if we just hold the back button and jump back into Facebook, I guess. You can see that both they work instantly. There's really no point to this test since they're both equally matched phones with absolutely no problems. I don't know if you guys just saw that right now, but the 925 for some reason screen locks randomly for absolutely no reason. No idea what the issue with that is. So let's take a look at the Lumia Amber update. And this brings some very nice features and a lot of them are Nokia exclusives, such as Nokia Smart Cam, which allows you to take multiple shots with action, motion, blur, focus, really cool options that you know you can take advantage of to get some nice artistic shots. Also another inclusion is DataSense, which used to be Verizon exclusive. You can now track your data usage on Wi-Fi and your mobile network with um, live updates informing you which apps are using how much data. You can see here I have instance using 15 megabytes of mobile data and 84 megabytes of uh, Wi-Fi, you know, email, etc, etc. And it gives you a little pie chart showing you the mobile versus Wi-Fi, and here's your total data usage, 855 megabytes remaining of my one gigabyte data allowance. So that's a really cool feature that a lot of, I know a lot of people are looking forward to. So another uh, GDR2 feature is the fact that it now comes with a radio. So if you head into the music, you can actually activate the radio from here. And of course it just needs your uh, antenna, which is through your headphones to be connected, but you can put your station and you'll listen instantly so I know a lot of people will be excited to see the comeback of the radio. Um, as for Nokia exclusive features you also have the glance screen which I've covered in a previous video sorry which is the always on clock with double tap to wake so that's a really cool feature you can find it under display and touch. Let that come up and load under glance as you can see up here you have glance, peak, night mode, set etc etc so it's really cool um, under extras and infos, it'll actually tell you that you're running the Lumia Amber update, as you can see right there. And the Amber is actually written in an amberish color, so that's interesting. Uh, it would be nice to know what the next update will be called. I know um, some people are hoping for Bloodstone, which would sound really cool. So that's pretty much it for the 925 and 920 software comparison. As you can tell, they're both equally matched, absolutely no issues running Windows Phone 8, smooth as, smooth as butter, no problems, and the Lumia Amber update brings some well-needed and welcome features to the Windows Phone 8 range, especially to the Lumia handsets. So, I mean, that's really great. Let me guys know what you guys think. Which phone do you prefer, the 920 or the 925? And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching, like, comment, and please do subscribe. See you guys.